superficial mycosis. Superficial mycosis, as I said earlier in the introduction of mycology, we have divided these diseases, mycosis, superficial, cutaneous, subcutaneous, and cysteine, where they are so opportunistic. Now we are in the superficial mycosis state. These infections, perhaps not deadly or fatal, often. They are cosmetically appealing, no valid. So, most often they are treatable. Uh, we can use antifungal dose medication and some kind of relevant management options. But often it is for cosmetic diseases. In the superficial mycosis, are usually confined to the outermost layer of the skin, hair, mucosa, and do not invade living tissues. So you all know in the outer membranes, outermost layers, they are not live. So there is an interface. So they grow there. They do not invade living tissues. So in that sense, they do not elicit immune response. No discomfort, only cosmetic problem, limited to stratum corneum. Diseases, uteritis vesicola, alluvum, penia niagara, black pietra, white pietra. About the uteritis vesicola, which caused by malicium purpura, that's organism. It's a lipophilic yeast found as a normal flower of the skin. So it is not contagious or not transformable to others. Which in sebaceous glands, they use there because they are lipophilic. Also, media supplemented with fatty acids like olive oil. Exit in body means occasionally high. Dimorphic nature is there. It causes petrisis vesicula, petrisis folliculitis, seborrheic dermatitis, or dandruff, or systemic infection in immunocompromised host, special, specifically those who depend on lipid parental nutrition. We know we provide parental nutrition for those who are debilitated patients or those who are undergoing gastric for major surgeries. So we provide amino acids or proteins as well as lipids. Those in the lipid lines, they are part of our normal flora, they are more prone to develop systemic infection. Major clinical manifestations is hypo hypopigmented of this skin. It's a hypopigmented mainly here, but hyperpigmentation also there. Lesions are well demarcated. You can see the margins. Bone colored macules are the most common presentation. That also they are trunk and upper arms, rarely on neck and face. Macules. You can see. Likewise, it's a common disease. Common cosmetic problem. Follicular. The one is petrisis folliculitis. It form follicular papules and pustules. Now it's a bit of terrible condition if it is compared to <coughs> petrisis vesicola. Sometimes all neck, shoulder, or face, back, chest, and upper arms are common. Itchy and often appear after sun exposure. You can see this folliculitis or the follicles. Subaharic dermatitis or dandruff, change in quality and composition of the sebum, increase in the wax esters, shift from triglyceride to short fatty acid chains, increase in alkalinity of the skin, external local factors such as occlusion leads to discondition. Clinically, erythema and scaling in areas with a rich supply of sebaceous glands, scalp, face, eyebrows, ears, upper trunk are the common sites. Lesions are covered with greasy scales. Itching is the common in this. 
you can see so you can see much more but scales so redness also there laboratory diagnosis you can do skin scraping you see in the blunt end of the scalpel you can skin scraping go for koh preparation and culture in koh you can see both body knee cells and hypa can be demonstrated so we can see both spaghetti and meat bowl appearance is there so it's a meat bowl and spaghetti when we do the koh and other staining methods short fragments of hypa cluster of is spaghetti and meat bowl appearance in culture as i said earlier it requires fatty acids we use saborated dextrose agent that is the major media for fungi but here we enrich with olive oil for providing more lipids since malassezium purpura is lipophilic organism other one is we can use big shun mega it's a specialized isolation media contain glycerol monoolate management often we use tropical treatment imidazole ketoconazole shampoo all the treatment also preferred when it is not responding in the, and as well as in extensively it is spread in the body we often provide ketoconazole itraconazole oral therapy alternatively zinc pyrethrin shampoo selenium sulfide lotion propyrene glycerol 50% in water twice daily so side but in niagara it's an infection of keratinized layers of the skin caused by exophila vernicki or cladosporium vernicki. Cladosporium vernicki is a dimorphic fungus that produces melanin. It's again cosmetic problem. A well demarcated brown black macula lesions which usually were on the palm aspect of the hands and occasionally on the front and as well as plant aspects of and other surface of the skin. Lesions are non-inflammatory and non-scaling. Pharma, brown, no scaling, no inflammation, no immune reaction. KOH preparation. We can do skin scraping, go for the KOH preparation when look through the microscope. We can see typical dark pigmented yeast-like cells and hyperfragmented hypia are demonstrated. Culture. Initially, colonies are mucoid, yeast like, and shiny black. Abundant aerial mycelia and become velvety, dark olivaries in color, mature form. Management we can use sulfur soap, selenium sulfide containing samples, and a is also possible, topical. And we we'll feel sorry white field or in benzoic acid compounds are there or imidazole agents twice a daily for three to four weeks we need prolonged treatment because skin their turnover time is high so once skin cells or margins are infected invaded we need to give at least Four weeks because they are turned on time to take 20 weeks until appearance of the next cellular life. About the black beard, it's another cosmetic problem. Superficial infection of the hair caused by pietra or it's a dermatitis fungus. You can understand later. Clinical manifestation does not penetrate the hair follicle. When presence of hard nodules found along the infected hair shaft, nodules hard fusiform firmly attached to the hair shaft. Laboratory diagnosis demonstration of the nodular contain aspect. You can see nodules. Here you can see nice this black theater. Culture you can nicely see. It. You are Option is shave or cut the hair and apply other way or apply turbinifying 250 milligrams per day for six weeks. 
about the white paper infection of the hair caused by yeast like organism of course Typhosporum bhd commonly in south america central and eastern europe and japan it affects scalp mustache and beard development of soft pasty creamy colored white along infected hair sharp and initial growth occur beneath the epidermis of the hair Infected hair shaft consists of mycelia that rapidly fragment to arthroponin. Here you can see white beard. In this picture, we see hair with white beard, Rhizosporum BG. So, about the laboratory diagnosis, we can do the direct microscopy. Fragmented hyphae that develop into arthroponidia or produce blastoponidia in 10% KOH amount of hair. When you look through the microscope, it's nicely seen. You can see arthroponidia. It's a block like appearance. We can do the culture. Brown on SDA with cyclohexamide, it's an inhibited substance. White to yellowish to deep cream colored. Smooth, wrinkle, velvety, dual, dull colonies with the mice. My cilia fringe, we can see. It takes four to five weeks. When we look through the this slide, this petri dish, it's, it's a oral culture fairly. Management shave the hairs or imidazole agent.